Easy binding winder. Take 30, 137. Hello, ladies, and welcome to the 2014 Soho Retreat. Most of you know me, I'm Rex, and I'd like to stay, take just a few moments of your time to show you a product that my lovely lady Peggy and I have invented. And it has already been deemed by your friend and ours, Darlena, as, quote, a handy little gadget. Before we get started, though, <coughs> why don't we have a toast? Please raise your wine glasses with me and toast Diane for hosting the 2014 Soho Retreat. Here's to you, Diane. Uh, okay. well, what? She does this every year. Oh, well, never mind. If you're a quilter, and if you're not, then you're hanging around with the wrong host, then you're all too familiar with the age-old problem of how to manage your binding. My better half, Peggy, who's over here digging underneath the desk, my better half, Peggy, came to me about a year ago to solve this age-old problem. How can she find a way to manage your binding? As any quilter knows, once you've cut your binding, you need to soak Fold it in half and iron it. So as you're ironing away, you're tossing this binding off the end of the ironing. Iron a little, just toss it off the end. Iron a little, toss it off the end. Now the binding I'm using here is wider than your average binding for demonstration purposes. So you can see it. And it's also multicolored because Peggy taught me that if you show any quilter multi-vibrant colored fabric, they become mesmerized and she can sell more product that way. So once you're done, all of your binding is down on the floor. And the next question is, well, how am I going to roll this all up? Well, most people we know use your regular toilet paper roll. Now I had a toilet paper roll here for the demonstration, but unfortunately on the last take that I screwed up, I knocked it off the ironing board Boo grabbed it, ran off, and tore it up. So, I didn't even have a toilet paper roll ready for this. So, what I had to do was I had to take all of a full roll of toilet paper off of the toilet paper roll. Fortunately, I had, well, I had a wide room water bottle and hoodie. <laughs> Give <me> that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it was on the toilet paper roll, but that fell off the ironing board as well, and Boo got that too. So who do you almost got it this time? Anyway, so <laughs> so what's a, so what's a girl to do? Well, if you've forgotten your glasses, or if you can't decipher this state-of-the-art logo on my chest and hat, the answer to this age-old question is the Easy Binding Winder. <clears throat> now, the Easy Binding Winder is such a revolutionary product, it's going to take the quilting industry into the 22nd century. I just hope there are enough quilters left in the 22nd century to buy our product, or we may end up living in a van down by the river. It is so easy and fun to use that even a big dope like me can figure it out. There are five simple parts to the Easy Binding Winder. There's a base and tower assembly. There's a cylinder and handle, which has a keyway to accommodate the spool. There's a cap that allows you to attach the cylinder to the unit. And then there's this, the revolutionary spool. It has a key in here that perfectly fits the keyway in the cylinder, so you can wind it and it also has a clip here. The clip is used to take your binding, the end of your binding, slip it under the clip and it holds it there so you can start your your wind. So how, how does it work? Well first off you have to clamp the easy binding winder to your ironing board. Now there are three 
holes, mounting holes in the easy binding liner in the base that accommodate the rod that's in the clamp. Now, what the, you slide the clamp into the rod, or the clamp rod into the base, and then you want to push this up on, on the other side, underside of your ironing board and press it up so this spring here gets good tension on it. And then you just tighten it with this thumb screw on the side and it holds it right there in place. A couple of turns usually does it. So let me do that for you. Oh, by the way, there are three mounting holes, as I said, in, in the base, which means you can mount the easy binding winder on the left side of the ironing board, the right side, the north side, the south side. Shoot, you could even mount it on the bottom of the iron board if you had a purpose for it, but I don't know what it would be. At any rate, let me put her down here. Now, for the best clamping pressure for the clamp, you want to try to find the cross brace that goes across your ironing board and make sure your, your clamp pad here lands on that. Right on that cross member. You push it up, get some good pressure on it, and then just a few turns of the thumb screw, and there you have it, it's ready to go. Now then you drop the spool into the top of the towers, slides right down in there. You take your cylinder, Run it right through the spool, both towers, and then there's a few turns of the cap and you're ready to go. So, you take the end of your binding, if I can find it here, it was here a minute ago, okay here we go, and you thread it underneath the tensioning bar in the front of the easy binding winder and slip it under the clip so it'll hold it in place and then you start winding to your heart's content. So as you're ironing, you iron a section of your, of your binding, and then you just wind it right into the easy binding winder. You iron your next section, wind it right up. Did you know that there's 500 inches of binding for a king size quilt? An easy binding winder will accommodate every inch of that. Also, there was a, there was a, um, study performed, unscientific by the way, that determined that if there was an easy binding winder in 10% of all of the quilting homes in the average neighborhood, it would reduce the street crime by 7%. That's a very interesting statistic that you're more than welcome to share with your friends. So now that we're just about to the end of our binding here, see how this twists? You don't have this problem of twisting when you're ironing it and loading it directly into your easy binding winder. That's the beauty of the product. So you get her all in there. And then once you have it all wound up, you unscrew the cap, you pull out the cylinder, you lift up the spool, and there you have a perfectly wound binding ready to apply to your quilt. But as any infomercial will tell you, that's not all. There's more. Once you're ready to apply your binding to your quilt, all you have to do, take the spool, drop it right down, back down in the easy binding winder, run your cylinder in, put your cap on, you don't want to tighten it too much. And then, as you sew your quilt, or as you sew your binding to your quilt, all you have to do is feed it directly off the easy binding winder. You can set it on the floor, you can set it on a chair beside you, on the iron, on your, on your table, or you can have a very short person maybe hold it about waist high like this for you. And that's about... Can it really get any easier than that, ladies? Come on now. We've begun our market study, and you ladies are the very first to see the Easy Binding Winder. Be sure to like us on Facebook, and look out for our website coming soon to a computer near you at easybindingwinder.com. And if we start a Kickstarter campaign, 
you too can get one of these great t-shirts or a cap or maybe even your very own easy binding winder. Thank you for watching our video and enjoy your retreat. Easy binding winder, that's a wrap.